Builders, new Mistaka here with a new unboxing and unbagging video. And uh, make sure you watch this video right to the very last because there's a brilliant surprise at the end of the video. Meanwhile, we've got a, a Britannia, a new Britannia. In fact, it's the second one of these that I've managed to uh, to find on eBay. One of them's already gone for grading, uh, and this one is. A new proof 2003 with the helmet head. Uh, love this coin. Still waiting to find at the right price a quarter or a half, but the one tenth will have to do in the meantime. So uh, be interested to see what the grading is when it comes back in a few days from NGC in, uh, in the States. The next coin we've got is something where I was filling in a few gaps in my Luna 2 collection. And I noticed that at least four of the one ounce coins have got um, some coins that have the privy and some coins that don't have the privy. Um, so I've managed to find a couple of goats. Uh, the first one has got the lion privy. Uh, and I read quite a bit online about the Privy, and I was told that uh, the Perth Mint may be doing it as a way of extending, in a kind of underhand way, the mintages, because they're meant to be producing about 300,000 each of these one-ounce bullion coins. But uh, on some of them, like the Dragon, they produced about 200,000 extra with the Privy. But uh, since they haven't released the mintages yet for this one, I'm not sure how many... Uh, goats and horses, um, I think snakes as well, will end up having the, uh, the privy as well. So in the meantime, just to be on the safe side, I'm just getting one of each with the privy and one without the privy. I'm not particularly interested in the one ounce coins anyway, because there are so many of them, but you've obviously got to have them to make up a set. So, uh, so they, the one ounces, it is. I think one or other of these coins came from Arshimo on the uh, on the Silver Forum. Not quite sure which one. He's also got an eBay account, and I think I bought it from his eBay account. So there you've got same design, one with the Lion Privy, and one without the Lion Privy. Beautiful coins. Not my favourite one. I think I like the uh, the horse. I think is really nice. Maybe next year's will be a little bit nicer. This is uh, a couple of packets that were uh, at home again when I arrived today. Both sent from the states uh, via one of the guys on the one of the bulletins bulletin boards, um, and it's the year of the mouse half ounce coin. So I'm gradually building a collection of mouse coins. Got the one ounce, found the half ounce. The half ounce is quite difficult to come by. It's quite a rare coin with only 17,000 odd minted. The first one he sent to me didn't track, so he sent me another one. <laughs> and then suddenly, today, both of them turned up, and when it, when it got to the UK from the States, it suddenly started a track. So uh, I told him that I'd have both if they arrived, so uh, I sent the money off for both coins today, so I've now got two half-ounce mouse coins. So that's the half-ounce and the one-ounce and uh, we'll have to see if I can ever afford to get the 2, 5 and 10 as well, which are phenomenally expensive coins. I'm not quite sure why they're so expensive, but they are pretty expensive. The next one is a coin that comes in a very big box, and it is truly exciting because it is an amazing coin and a great find. This is the first one of these I've had of this size, and it's just awesome. I thought the 10 ounce was big, but this is just outrageous. I really like this size. I think it's actually the nicest size that they do, but it didn't sell very well. Uh, it hardly sold at all, so it's a very rare coin, and they stopped making them, and they, they, they decided to make the one kilo instead, but they do these in the ox, the mouse and the tiger, and uh, this is the second rarest of the half kilo coins. Uh, only one and a half thousand of these were ever made, 
and it's a really nice size. It's the same uh, diameter as the kilo, but it's half the width. Absolutely beautiful coin. I was absolutely del delighted to get this one, and uh, I might get a an Atmex box to put the the set in when I finished. Just wanted to give a shout out to the guys over in the silverforum.com. Great bunch of guys if you want to talk gold and silver and metals. Quite a few of the guys also have YouTube accounts. Um, visit the guys over in the Silver Forum. Thanks a lot for watching.